when Sazian is just going to run himself out of this fight. He's burning himself out. 20 of 83. So he's thrown 63 punches that haven't landed. So eventually he's going to tire out. It looks like to me he's tiring out already. Gets out of the way of that one. But he's gassed, man. Under a minute left in round two. Look out. And if I'm Bruno Lopes, I'm turning it on. Oh, body shot. Saziani's in trouble. Lopez is turning it on now. Saziani's going down to a knee. And Herb Dean stops it, and that's it. And in my mind, I'm saying, I don't think either of these guys are ready for the UFC. But Bruno Lopez has shown that he can take some punches, get out of the way of others, and eventually finish an opponent. And the Brazilian is 13-1, and he made us pay for this prediction. We always say if it's close, we go with the Brazilian. In this one, we decided to go the other way, and we were dead wrong. And Saziani just tore up his gas tank here, man. I mean, it was clear that he got tired. I mean, when I say he's throwing big right hands and not connecting, the spinning back fist set it up. And you see the replay here. And a nice head clash there nearly stopped the fight, but he kept going. And Saziani just looking tired, putting a hand up like, wait, 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 wait. No more, no more. And then he, here comes a, the knee, boom, right to the body, and that was it. So think about it. You're exhausted. You burn out the gas tank. You take a knee to the body, and that's it. So Herb Dean stops it. Bruno Lopez moves to 13-1. Light heavyweight division. Dana White's contender series.